Hey guys, you don't wanna miss this. We're covering the top 10 new features coming to Microsoft Teams that were the latest and greatest announcements coming from Microsoft Ignite. Okay guys, before we dive in here, just a quick reminder, I do supplement these videos with a blog post down below in the description so that you can get helpful links to all of these announcements if you wanna learn more. So be sure to check that out after this video. The first announcement here is related to some of the announcements from Microsoft Ignite. This is a very popular one called Teams Interpreter. It's an agent that will be within Teams that can perform live language translation on the call. We need to review the progress of the project. Can you please tell us how the tasks we should take are going? Next one here is also a very popular announcement for new chat and channels experience. This is kind of combining both the chat experience you would have within the Teams tab, as well as your normal chats with one-on-one -on -one participants or group chats into a single pane, single user experience, and you can toggle or filter on that left-hand nav. So just much more streamlined experience for users. This is available now in public preview. No announcements yet as far as GA timelines. Microsoft Places was announced for general availability as well, which is included in some of your base level subscriptions like your business standard or business premium. And it is an app that is really built and molded for hybrid work. This allows you to do things like modernizing the way people are connecting for in-office days, optimizing the space management if you're doing hot desk or things like that as part of your hybrid workforce or hybrid management for your building access. And this is something that you can utilize today. So be sure to check that out. Again, it comes part of some of your base level plans. Hey guys, just a quick announcement here. If you're looking for a tool to help automate your Microsoft 365 security assessments in minutes, if I check out a tool I built called Cloud Capsule, you can sign up for free and run a free assessment. Performing that action just takes a few minutes here. All you need to do is add a domain name of a tenant you wanna run an assessment on. You'll grant consent to the permissions we need to read the data in the tenant. And within seconds, you'll start to have the information streaming from the tenant back into this comprehensive report that also maps across different compliance standards like CIS and this CSF. You can quickly in the portal, go ahead and brand this portal with your logo. And then if we go back to that particular tenant, you'll have a white labelable PDF that you can share with the customer to have a better security conversation as part of your security practice. So be sure to check this out as cloudcapsule.io to run a free assessment, and I'll link that here in the description of this video. Another big announcement was Microsoft Storyline integrated into Teams. You can think of Storyline as kind of the social media type of functionality within Microsoft Teams where users can follow others in their workspace, and they can follow posts that they make. They can like post and share it with other individuals. So it's interesting. I'm not sure if it's actually going to play well into actually making people more productive uh, versus being a distraction, but this is going to be coming into public preview for Teams users early 2025. So the next one here is related to Copilot file summary in chat. This is obviously if you do have a Copilot license, but it's giving the users the ability, as you can see here in this video, capability of summarizing a document without having to leave Teams there that is being shared with them. So just much more convenient experience of being able to quickly get this summary and collaborate further. Public preview for this one is going to be early 2025. This next one here is more of a security and compliance functionality. I'm not sure how useful it will be actually in real life, just given if you are sharing some sensitive content with a uh, audience, you likely already know what you're doing, but hopefully, you know, this could track and catch anything uninvertent that people might be sharing in this screenshot is showing an example with some bank account information. So it's giving you a pop-up that basically is detecting that and saying, hey, you know, did you know you're sharing this? And it gives you the ability to stop sharing. Public preview for this one will be early 2025. So next one here is if you have Teams premium licensing and are also leveraging Microsoft bookings for scheduling, this is kind of giving you some more advanced functionality that we've seen in other apps that we might be using in lieu of bookings like Calendly as an example, but it's an SMS integration that would notify users of upcoming appointments and things of that nature. So again, if you have Teams premium licensing, this is GA today, and you'll be able to check out this integration with text. Next one here is related to Loop Workspace and Channel. If you're not familiar with Loop, it is the new documentation collaboration tool for Microsoft that comes part of your base licensing as well. But this is basically, as you can see here in this video, giving you the ability to add a Loop Workspace to any channel. So you can collaborate there without having to leave. This will happen in BGA early 2025. 
Next one here is also more of a security related function for email for verification for external participants. This is basically saying we want to verify users' identities that are joining and not allow anonymous joins, which is a nice functionality. It's also a Teams premium function, but it sends the user a one-time passcode to the email that they enter so they can be verified before joining the meeting. This will be GA early 2025. Another security functionality here for our last one, which is related to preventing bots from joining Teams meetings. This is also for anonymous user joins, so it's not going to be affecting any of your verified or internal users within the organization. This is specifically going to be somebody outside of your organization trying to join the meeting, and this would prevent any bots from joining that meeting with this kind of capture code experience. GA today. So if you're a Teams admin and want to turn this on, you'll be able to see that in the Teams admin center. Okay, guys, that's everything I had for you. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these update videos over time. I do them every month across the Microsoft suite of offerings. So be sure to stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next week.